Here is what the papers are saying today. The headlines of various newspapers from Daily Trust, This Niger, DT, Daily Times, Nigerian Dailies, and all the rest. Listen to them and pick it so you can go analyze it yourself. Welcome back to Chukitable Media. This morning, we we'll start with this Nigeria protest march. Dialogue remains the best option. And the writer says Southeast Governor's Northern Groups above Benin charge intending demonstrators. You will find that story on page four. And, uh, well, let's take a look at another. Well, this, is, this is quite troubling. Navy uncovers illegal bunkering site in private residence. That's on page 10 of the paper. All right, the Daily Trust is also leading with the protest. This time it says the dialogue with protest organizers, opposition reps tell federal government dialogue with protest organizers, opposition reps tell federal government demonstration may compromise peace, the government says. And Tinubu needs more time about being governors also uh, urge protesters. You have that on page four of the Daily Trust. Dangote Refinery, that's Manufacturers Association of Nigeria, warns against demarketing local investments. Okay, let's uh, take a look at uh, the Daily Times. Planned protest. FG pleads for more time. Planned protest. FG pleads for more time. That story you will find on page two, where the writers says all issues will be resolved in a way to ensure peace, stability. NLC clarifies position on looming protests, says it's not part of organizers. And uh, just uh, below the picture story there, Tinubu signs Southeast Northwest Development Commission establishment bills, welcomes Ayim, former Senate president, into APC. Fanez Ndigo, youth body hails Tinubu for SEDC Act. Okay, let's see how the Nigerian News Direct is leading this morning. Plant protest. We will continue to engage in your interest. Give us time. The federal government backs Nigerians. The writers, no one is going to sleep. We're all working for Nigeria, Minister. APC urges protesters to shelf plans, as says Tinubu, not cause of economic hardship. The details you can find on page two of the paper. After years on the run, that's uh, that bottom page there, NDLEA NAB's most wanted drug bearer in Lagos. Okay, let's go to the Standard Times now. Nationwide protest. Nigerian governors meet in Abuja. And uh, that's a story that will definitely interest everyone uh, as we speak. And of course, uh, we also take a look at uh, other stories on the front page. Uh, let's go to the bottom of that page. We can't withdraw from protest we didn't organize. NLC. That's on page two. And bad governance protest, information minister Tinubu, not opponent of protest, but of violence, says federal government cautious because national protest risks spiraling into chaos. That's the elite on the first news newspaper. Meta cracks down on Yahoo Boys, 63,000 accounts deleted in fraud sweep. Hmm. The Nigerian pilots, as usual, the headline, the main headline is in red, of course, attracting your attention. Terrorism, trial of 300 suspects begin. FG begins trial of 300 persons allegedly involved in terrorism crimes. 163 convictions, 882 discharges, five acquittals already secured. Uh, let's go just below that story, Abuja property. Abacha's family drags Sinobu Wiki to appeal court. All right, eight days to go. Opposition swells against hardship protests. Will not tolerate lawlessness. The federal government warns rally potentially dangerous, say governors. That's uh, the story you find on page four of the leadership newspaper. Agric mechanization. Federal government plans to produce 5,000 tractors annually. Page seven. Now to the Daily News Hub, sextortion scams, Meta swoops on Nigeria's Yahoo Boys, deletes 63,000 accounts, says it unearthed 2,500 accounts run by 20 individuals targeting adult U.S. men. 
removes around 7,200 assets in Nigeria, including 1,300 Facebook accounts, 200 pages, 5,700 groups. Oh, going further down to the bottom of the page, hashtag end bad governance in Nigeria, list of location. Sounds prone to fraud, CBN boss uh, says on page 19 of the paper. Majority of the newspapers today, the headlines, you can see that the federal government is pleading and begging, even sending obas, sending prominent people, the pastors, the imam, the religious people in the country to go beg the citizens to give them more time. In fact, that is what is so prominent. And another thing that you can see that is so funny is the sextortion. Sextortion. The guys arrested using the Facebook, the social media, to do to do, uh, you know, people all around the world, promising them uh, marriages and all the rest. Apart from that, economic news also are mentioned, things to do with uh, economy, industrialization, oil and gas and all the rest. So you can go pick these newspapers up and get more details. Apache's family also are agitating over land and building of properties in Abuja. So interesting. The Abacha family will also come up and start to agitate. They sue Wiki and they sue Tinubu. Let's see how it ends. Thank you for watching. This is Chokitable Media. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like, the, like them. Like the videos. Share it. God bless you as you do.